In the previous video, we entered the automation screen and created a projector to automate. In this video, we will build an automated sequence to control the device we created. This can be done within the Actions tab. An automated sequence is called an event. An event can automate a wide range of actions for a wide range of devices. By default, there are a few events already programmed into the server, but for the most part, you'll create your own events specific to your theater's needs. To begin, click the Add button and give a name to your new event. Since I'll be automating the projector I created, I'm going to label my event Start Projector. This event will trigger an automated sequence that will power on the projector, turn on its lamp, and then open its dowser. Now that our event has been created, we now need to add a sequence of actions. On the first line item, you'll notice a column for devices and a column for actions. Each device has its own specific actions. So when we click the pull down menu, we see all the actions available to the system, which is the physical GDC server. Clicking on this column reveals the other default devices as well as the projector we set up earlier. General Purpose Input Output, or GPIO, is a form of automation that sends electrical pulses through a series of wired outputs. Coil sends a single electrical pulse to the output you specify, Register sends a series of electrical pulses, and Level produces an electrical clamp. The last default device is the timer. Working in milliseconds, this device creates space in between your automation commands. The projector we previously created has its own unique set of actions, which we'll use to build our event sequence. As mentioned before, the first action of this event will be to power on the projector. Next, we'll create a second line and set it as the timer. This will create a delay in between each command to assure that each one is properly received. Setting the timer to 1000 milliseconds is the equivalent of one full second. In our third line, we'll turn on the lamp, then we'll add another one second timer, And in our fifth line, we'll open the dowser. Now that our sequence has been completed, all we have to do now is save our event. At this point, our start projector event will now be available as a queue and can now be added to our playlist. 